as a God as well in Greek. Wouldn't that be blasphemy though? Really? Jesus even defines that in John 10, 33. Is it not written in your scriptures that you are gods? Referring to Psalm 82, 6. The same Greek word there uses theos as well. You understand what I'm saying to you? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah? So this, are, as you know, you're a Greek speaker. So this is good news. So you would know these are elevatory titles which can give, be given to man or it can be given to God as well. Just like kurios. You're a Greek, uh, Greek, the same thing with that. It can be given to as a Lord. It can be given to God, but it can also be given to man. So these are what you call interchangeable titles, which in those days, in your communities in Greece, they didn't. They found the concept of an unseen, one singular God too incomprehensible. So what they did, then they associated man with God. Hence, you get these great characters like Augustus Caesar and so forth, who were referred to with high titles as sons of God and so forth, yeah. for based upon the Greek word huios. But, but again, I mean, looking at Jesus' figure, he claimed to be born from a virgin, which I know that she, she we believe. Did, yes, yeah. she did miracles. Yes. She was sinless and she died and rise from the dead. Which I know this part you don't believe in. Yeah. But let's focus in the other three. Yes. Parts. I mean no ordinary human can do such things, can he? Do cannot do what what do you mean exactly? Like getting bored from a virgin or performing miracles or not sinning. Okay, so in terms of not sinning, we believe none none of the prophets sinned. So we reject the idea that, for example, the prophets in the Old Testament, like David or Noah, I mean, they, David this is what we're trying to say to you. We don't believe they sinned. These are according to, according to, the, according to our definition that a prophet, to the Quran, right? yes, that the prophets are sinless. But you just use the Bible to say that Jesus didn't claim to be God. That's correct. Yes. So why you trust the Bible if you define the truth by your own truth? No, so we define we, we define the truth by the, the word, verbatim word the of the word individuals of who are Allah. speaking. No, let's, let me explain to you. So when we say to you, Jesus is a prophet, okay? We see this in the Bible. We see, I'll give you the. But you told me that David as well is yeah. sinless. Yes. Which clearly is false because it's a, in the old state. Uh, yeah. I know. So, for example, he his for his life. yes, but we, our, our narratives reject that. They said it does not happen. These were just things made up about because we but believe can also. You see what you're doing here? I understand. You're going to say we're picking and choosing. Yeah. No, but what we're not because what we believe, the Quran comes as God's final revelation to mankind, which acts as the arbitrator of the previous scriptures. So you the Bible itself. Which one? No, we don't choose. I'll, I'll the show Quran it. Chooses. So which the Quran, ones are right I and which ones are wrong. yeah, but even at, at that very juncture, what we observe, nominally speaking, is in addition the Bible itself testifies to its own corruption. Have you read Jeremiah chapter eight, verse eight? I haven't been. I, I'm still in the Old Testament. Yes, I won't like to. That's why I picked that. Okay. I wanna read the Old, old three Testament. Books. Okay. Old, old, New, and Quran. Okay. Have you got a Quran? Do you have a Quran? No, yet. I haven't I, read. I, I'm gonna give you one now in English. I, Maybe later. Free of Once charge. Once I finish the New Testament, so I'm gonna jump in the Quran. But That's let me order, right? Fine. But let me give you the Quran. It's a free gift to you. I know you guys do this. Yeah, we got. We got. We got many thousands. But wouldn't you like to have I'm, one? I'm open to it. Excellent. Okay, that's fine. I, I, I don't decline Quran that's unless fine. I read it. That's know? fine. So. But my belief about Jesus is really strong yeah, because but, but, yeah. I haven't met another guy in my life claiming that he's sinless. You see, this is, I mean, where does Jesus actually say he's sinless? Where does he say that? I, I haven't read that. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I'm telling you, he doesn't say that. He doesn't. He doesn't. Okay, what we're saying, look, even when in the beginning, when John the Baptist but in Mark. Is he born from a, a virgin woman? Yes. Okay. Is, 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 uh, did he perform miracles? Yes, by God. Let me explain to you. Let me, no, no, no. Yes, he did. Yeah. But so did Moses. Did, did is Moses he did, sinless? Uh, he doesn't, he doesn't commit sins, no. They don't, so, prophets don't commit sins by definition because they're representative. They don't commit sins of intent, by intent, because this is a definition of one who represents God. So when you they can make mistakes, but not sin. They don't sin. So, okay. So a sin is, is only something which a sin you, when it's committed by your will. No, a sin is something which goes against the very tenant of what God has ordained for, okay. for you. That is a big difference between, for example, when Moses punched that Egyptian and killed him. Mm -hmm. He didn't mean to kill him. He was trying to protect the Israelite, yeah. but he committed an act of um, 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 self-defense to that guy and had no option but to use force yeah, against. That's, that's not a sin. That is just 
a mistake that he perhaps made, but it, it was no intent in it. Your intent, intention is, is the prerequisite for everything. Okay, so what we say, we reject all those claims in the Old Testament that Jacob uh, um, cheated his brother Esau of the rightful inheritance. That's what the book uh, writes, right? That's what the they book says. same book that you say to me that you trust. No, I said to you and that... You no, I said to you that the, what we find in the New Testament is elements of truth. What we find in... Let me just explain. Then what we find is evidence that Jesus does not claim to be God. You then gave me some verses which you believe Jesus is God. You went to John 14, 6. You said to me, and I gave you the understanding. All he's trying to show is to follow my way. I am the life, follow my life. For I speak the truth. That's all you were saying. But I, I think that's what God would do if He really cared about us. He would send Himself, showing the way, showing how to live life and not. Uh, so why didn't what God? Not to do. But that doesn't make any sense. You know why? Because in, in your own Bible, I don't in, know. In, I, it makes really much sense to me. If God loves me, I would like a sign from Him. Why wouldn't I believe into something that haven't been appeared? Any because time, God, because time. it says God cannot be seen at any time, and then that is in John chapter five, verse thirty-seven. God, listen to what I've said. Look, listen, listen to your last point. You said you want to see God. I, I think what it and means, I said without reading it, I, I, I haven't been there yet. It's yeah, in so, His full glory. Yeah, so you, you said see God because whoever sees God, it's gonna die. Exactly. Yeah, yeah I know. But also, that's in the Old Testament, but where he mentioned. But yeah, I'm telling you, even, I'm telling you. I'm, but I'm still even in the New Testament, but even if we come to the New Testament where Jesus' words are expressed yeah. during his earthly ministry, yeah. he says that God cannot be seen at any time. I'll give you the reference, John chapter five, verse thirty-seven, and also, I, I know that because also Moses and Aaron had the same issue. If they didn't see God. Exactly, they couldn't because nothing can. And in what, yeah. And we so, have an instance that someone died trying to get into the yeah. cabinet. Okay, now further to the now, I want to really go further. Because you said you still believe Jesus is God. But for example, did you notice a story in Mark's Gospel? Oh, no, no, give another one, nice one. Make you think. Matthew chapter 9. Jesus forgives the sins of a paralytic man. Mm -hmm. The Jews look and they say, between themselves, Jesus must think he is God. Yeah. That's why he's killed. Let me finish. Right. Jesus say, they say, Jesus must think he is God. Jesus reads their mind and he says to them, why do you think such evil thoughts? <laughs> Meaning, they are thinking that he's thinking he is God is an evil thought. What if he was trying to say, why are you thinking of killing me? That might be an evil thought. No, because, <laughs> because, the, because the explanation is given in the verse when they think that Jesus must think he is God. That's all they say. Uh, like I said, I've never, I, I, haven't, I, I haven't read it. No, I'm, I'm just yeah. going back, back and forth with your yeah, yeah. So what I'm saying to you, tonight when you go home, reflect on our conversation. You, we, we, you're, I mean, are you happy to be recorded? We're, we're being recorded. You can watch it afterwards on a YouTube channel and you can cross-reference the points. Uh, I, I can blur your face, yes. Blur meaning it's like giving you yeah, pixel. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, I've told you in Matthew chapter 9, in the contemporary English version, the CEV version, this is what it says. So later on, they give praise to God that he's given authority to man to forgive sins. In Acts chapter 2, verse 22, in the New Testament, it says very clearly, Jesus Christ, a man appointed by God. So God appoints men as his representatives. Jesus, through whom God did many wonders, works and signs, that God did through him. It wasn't Jesus doing it. I, I told you that, that I still believe in Jesus. May I tell you why I do? Yeah, I go still, ahead. And I will still. Believe. That's your as a start. Yeah. It all comes down to if that man rose from the dead or not. Yeah. I believe with my heart in him because I believe that he did indeed rose from the dead. That's the only reason. I don't believe uh, Jesus is a God because he said something. I believe that he is God because he did death. So let me get this right. You don't believe God, Jesus is God because he didn't say something, but you believe God. No, he did say a lot of things. But you just said that you, he... Okay, what no, did he I say? I wouldn't believe that Jesus is God if he only stayed on words. I'm, I'm not okay. satisfied. So I'm still haven't, you still words. haven't shown me evidence of his words which show he's God. Show me the evidence for that. 
Just give me one evidence. Evidence about what? That Jesus is claiming to be God. She died and rose from the dead. No, but that's an assumption you're making. Where does Jesus himself, my friend, say that he is God? You're assuming this, which is not I'm based upon... I'm assuming that because yeah. it's written in the book. Man. No, but my friend, what I'm saying to you yeah. is that Jesus does not say in the New Testament that he is God. So now I've asked you... No, he might not have said that, but he'd be dead. He, he okay, so, so you accepted he may not have said it. Okay, that's the thing. That's so if the it's not... That's the main okay, issue. fine. So uh, then uh, when you uh, understand, uh, even after his death, nobody goes around preaching he is God. Even in John's Gospel. Well, we wouldn't have the new church spreading it if, if that didn't happen. No, that is simply what happened. His message spread. But that's why Christianity spread. If, if they found Jesus' tomb to be with his body, that, that religion would have ended right But in, right you, know, in, there. you know in the first Gospel, you know the first Gospel is Mark. Mm -hmm. Mark has no resurrection narratives. Mm -hmm. There is no, you know, events that occur where he's in the tomb and so but forth. But I believe the other three have, right? The other three are, are an, expa an expanded and later understanding, Matthew, Mark and Luke. But you know... But they all claim that they let saw me him, right? Yeah, let me explain. So in Mark, you've got Mark, which is the first gospel. Matthew and Luke copied from Mark. And also something called Q source, Quella document. So these are the sayings of Jesus, apparently. Which are not, not which are not, which are the Quella source is a hypothetical document of the sayings of Jesus. Now, in Mark's account, those resurrection are, are not there at all. What, the question is, why aren't they there? So Matthew and Luke have added this understanding into the text. So you to, choose to 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 believe uh, Matthew's. Testament. So what I say to you, if if for example, you check any source, you're more inclined to go to an earlier source. So Mark is the first gospel written, in, let me explain to you. Mark was written in 70 AD, roughly 40 years after Jesus left. Yeah. Then There's an earliest testament of that, Paul's letters. Paul's letters, yeah. yeah. But Paul was somebody who never met Jesus. No, Jesus appeared to him. That's a claim he made. But imagine, for example... I mean, I, I, if I hated someone, I wouldn't go from, loving, uh, from hating him to loving him on a snap like yeah, that. But what Unless if he didn't show me. You know, his, his claim was that he has a revelation given to him by yeah. Jesus yeah, yeah, yeah. on the road to Damascus. Mm -hmm. And what happens is um, uh, this light appears before him. Mm -hmm. Now, imagine us three are walking together mm -hmm. and, so, and all of a sudden you fall on the floor and you're speaking to someone. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking at you and I, because it says in the narratives, in Paul's letters that the people were with him, but they did, they did, not, they did not see anything. But so imagine you are speaking to someone and I can't see anything. I'm going to think, is this guy stable-minded? Can I ask you something? Yeah. Did, didn't that happen to Muhammad as well? But he was completely alone? Yes, he was alone, but all he claimed was that the archangel gave, Gabriel gave him a revelation to read. But he... Okay, fine. But then you look, at his me you look at the externality of his message, which was consistent with the messages of the previous prophets, like Moses. Let me explain to you. That's the difference. The difference your, his claim was that he's come with a new God, for example, in Hebrews chapter 9, verse 22, Paul says the remission of sins is for a blood sacrifice. Yeah. But in Psalm chapter 40, verse 6, mm -hmm. it says God detests sacrifice and does not require it. What does detest mean? D doesn't like it. Sacrifice? Yes. But the whole testament is about sacrifices. That's so to, they can purify, right? Yeah, but that's just to offer certain animals as a form yeah, yeah, yeah. of... But that, I'm talking about human sacrifice. You're saying the... You said the remission for sins is the blood. The blood of Jesus is the remission I mean, for... I mean, someone has to pay the sins, right? Yeah, so what we say, sins, if you make a sin, you make sincere repentance for your sins. Just like the example of the prodigal son in Mark's Gospel where he's, he wants to, uh, to go away from his father, who gives him lots of money. He returns back after blowing all the money. And then what does the father say to me? He greets him and then he forgives. And the guy asks for his forgiveness. He simply asks for his forgiveness. So that is a sufficient repentance to God. Asking God is sufficient. You ask a God. This is what is the in that's Ezekiel. A, in that's Ezekiel, an, a, a big issue that bothers me with Islam. Yeah. The, the, the forgiveness of of sins. Yeah. I find it really hard to just get your sins washed because you you believe in God. I, I don't think that's enough. That's why I think 
Jesus has a crucial uh, part on this religion. You know, our friend, this is my friend Nazam. Hi, okay? Hi, 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 hi. Our friend is talking about the remission of sin and his fundamental belief oh, okay. in why he feels that um, d uh, uh, d one dying for the sin is in an incum incumbent belief. What would you say to that? I mean, I've mentioned Hebrews 9.22 seems to contradict Psalm chapter 40, verse 6, where Paul says in Hebrews 9.22 that the remission of uh, sin is death. So what about but in Psalm chapter 40, verse 6, it says that um, God does not require human sacrifice. What would you say to these points in regards to his general point? So what says, which Psalm says God doesn't require human sacrifice? So in Psalm chapter 40, verse 6, it oh, okay. says that God detests Human. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and he's ready. Yeah. You are way ahead. Oh. Yeah, no, but no, your game no. is bigger than my no game problem. because I have. I'm a new starter. I say respect. We respect. We're not here to that. No, give no, you no. A tough time. I'm yeah. here to discuss with because our friend believes in the divinity of Jesus. Oh, okay. We went on to speaking about um, an aspect such as um, um, dying for the sins of mankind. Yeah. And Jesus being that willing sacrificial lamb. Can you just elaborate as to why that is inconsistent with Jesus' own teachings? Oh yeah, I mean Jesus taught to forgive us as, um, uh, in the same way as God forgives you. Yeah. So you know, I'm um, in the Bible. Jesus says, um, "If you do not forgive the sins of your brother, um, the Father will not also forgive you." Mm -hmm. So he's not saying that I, Jesus, God, um, was will not forgive you if you do not forgive no, your but brother. You mentioned an, but an he example points to, that he did indeed uh, for, for, forgive uh, but he, yeah, sins but, from. The yes, but it was not him doing it of his own village. He says your sins are forgiven. He doesn't say yeah. I, Jesus, forgive your sins, because he represents. So why would God. he say that if he because did, he's been he given forgive his sins? Because he's been yeah, given in John chapter twelve, verse fifty-two, I believe, he says the Father who sent me, he had given me a commandment of what I should say and what I should speak. So the Father is commanding him or telling him what to say. So the father is telling him that the person's sins is forgiven. So Jesus, as a prophet of God, so is he claiming that Jesus was speaking to God. He's speaking on behalf of God. Doesn't that make it make him more important than the rest of us? I, I don't yeah, know anyone yeah, speaking yeah, to yeah, God. To be yeah, Jesus is more important than the rest of us. So he's someone more superior to yeah. human beings. Yes. Well, he, I, I, we he, can relate into that. He's a prophet. I, I can go along with this. But the reason why he's, he's, he's not superior, meant to be worshipped. He's not meant to be worshipped. He's he, meant to be obeyed and followed. Mm -hmm. But we don't oh, pray. That's what I do. I follow Jesus. Yeah, but, but not worship. Listen, yeah, be, or pray. Yeah, listen to what he's saying carefully to you. Say that he, again. You know when you pray mm -hmm. and you want your sins to be forgiven, mm -hmm. Jesus never says pray to me and say, Jesus, forgive my sins. Mm -hmm. But Jesus says, Father, when you pray, say, Father, forgive us our sins but as we forgive those. That's why I, oh. I do believe that Jesus is God. That's his name. That's but, his image. Yeah, but if Jesus I was mean, God, then Allah, we, yeah. God's right. No one knows Allah name. Yeah. So, listen to his point. So, so Allah has no mental image. Like you can't think of Allah. Mm -hmm. Whereas when you say Jesus, you can think of a man mm -hmm. who lived two thousand years ago. Yeah. You know, who had features of a human being. Yeah. Um. So this is like making God like an idol or a statue. Mm -hmm. So that's why we don't call God Jesus. Um, but we call God Allah because Allah has no image. We, he's like the supreme creator. Yeah, I, I, I don't. Uh, I don't. Uh, I, I don't really uh, praise the, Jesus as a man. I praise what He done for me. Mm -hmm. His uh, crucifixion and stuff like that. I mean, yeah, the problem with the crucifixion is that. It makes the father appear to be unjust and cruel, and it makes the son be more merciful and loving than the father. How does it make God be unjust? Because it means the father doesn't forgive, but he just simply takes the price or penalty for sin, but, and then Jesus comes and he pays the price. But, so it's like me saying that I will not forgive you until someone pays me £1,000. So this is like saying the father doesn't forgive you until Jesus comes and pays the price. It's like someone killing someone else and the judge just forgive him, just like that. Can, yes. Can you do that? So if, if the judge is forgiving someone else killing someone else, yeah. then um, then what, um, this would be like unjust for the innocent yeah, person. Has to pay the price, yeah. right? Then it means there's no true forgiveness because it means that 
God just simply takes the price or penalty for sin. Yeah, but not all humans are going to be forgiven, so some, most of them are going to be... Yeah, but how do you forgive? Now, when you forgive someone, do you take the price for the sin or do you just simply say, uh, I forgive you? <laughs> me as a human, I'm, it's really hard for me to forgive. <laughs> so Jesus says the way the Father forgives us is in the same way as you forgive your brother. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he says, uh, forgive us our sins as we forgive those Which, like I sin said, against it's us. really hard forgiveness as a whole. So uh, if, if I owe you a thousand pounds yeah. and you say, I forgive you, uh, but then you say, give me the money, it doesn't make sense. Did you understand? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Someone yeah. has to pay the price. Or if someone Either slaps me, you. Yeah, that's what he's trying to explain, yeah. that it doesn't make sense because of the explanation yeah. that he's given to you. So now it's going to make like, 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 like if someone slaps you, yeah. um, you don't say, I forgive you, now turn turn the other cheek. No, but if someone kills my brother, I would want justice for that guy. Yeah. To be given. So in the Quran, it's life for life, mm -hmm. or you can show mercy and forgive the person. Mm -hmm. So in the Quran, there is like eye for eye or, li or life for life, uh, but at the same time, you, you, you can also forgive the person as well. Um, and in the Quran, it says forgiveness is better. Yes. Yeah. To, to forgive the, uh, but yeah. But at the same time, you're within your rights, you know, to you know, like, like life for life, for it to be like equal or equity. And there is a verse in the Quran that says, um, in taking the life, um, you're saving life, meaning it's like an, a deterrent. So it's to put people off from committing this crime because if a person is thinking of killing someone, um, then they would think that, um, you know, they will think twice about it because if the, if the punishment is that their own life can also be taken as well. But if you know that somebody else is going to pay for your sins, mm -hmm. then there's no deterrent for what, you to commit that this, sin. What does this word mean? De deterrent. Deterrent means there's, there's nothing stopping you from doing something. Some deterrent. There needs to be something there well, to stop you in order to. I, I think not that's do it. Where, where the be born again part really comes in because unless you don't show your full gratefulness to Him and you don't change your whole self mm. a lot. You wouldn't be accepting forgiveness. You yeah. wouldn't enter the paradise. Yeah. You really need to change deep inside you. But if you, if you know someone else is going to die for you or pay for your sin, and there's nothing really stopping you from sinning because you already know that somebody but, else is going to die not, for you. Uh, Paul, I think Paul says that clearly that if you know the way and you don't do it, you are uh, guilty of uh, sin, right? Yeah, so I mean, the path has been shown to us. So it means if that we don't the, follow it yeah. willingly, then we're committing sin. So it means we like it, the right? blood of Jesus isn't sufficient. Like you also need a sincere heart, like sincere repentance. What does it mean, uh, sincere? Um, honest. Like you, honest. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like you have to be honest to yourself yeah. of not committing the sin or, or repenting to God. Mm -hmm. Um, so it, it means you don't need the death of Jesus, but you just need an honest heart. But then it's another issue with Atta, with this thing, with this thing. I mean, you are a follower of Allah, right? You, I assume you've done yeah, great uh, things, uh, yeah. good deeds. In, uh, but, Allah means God. Yeah, it's but the same God that you, Jesus. Even are. though you're trying really hard to yeah. not do anything wrong, you're still sinning, right? And you're gonna keep doing that throughout yeah. your life because. We are humans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sin is a really huge problem that we we're yeah. being faced with. But, but, but that's why we should turn turn back to God and continuously to remember God. But, but that also won't prevent you from sinning again tomorrow or the day after or in three years from now. Even no. though you believe with your full heart. Yeah, you, you have to build your uh, consciousness of God. No, I understand. That understand. become more mindful you, of you God. You can reduce your mistakes and sin less, but regardless you're gonna still sin. There, there is a hadith like a saying of the prophet attributed to him um, that says to the effect that um, if God was to make a nation that never sinned um, then such possible? God God would replace that nation with another nation that, that would sin and repent back to God or turn back to God. Uh, it's basically God loves it when a person repents or 
turns back to God, then Jesus but, says... But God still hates it when a repented person sins. What, what Jesus says that there will be more rejoice in heaven over one repentant sinner than 99 righteous men who did oh, not so you sin. Think, uh, did, you, did you understand that last point, what he said? Yeah, can, you, can you repeat so this? You, yeah, yeah. You know the parable of the lost sheep? A man has 100 sheep, mm -hmm. but he loses one. Mm -hmm. And so then he leaves the 99 on the hill and he looks for that one sheep he lost. Mm -hmm. And when he finds that he's very happy mm -hmm. and then Jesus says um, that th there will be more rejoice in heaven over one repentant sinner than 99 righteous men who haven't sinned and who didn't need to repent. Mm -hmm. That's, do you know that story? No, no, can you explain it? What, what did he mean by that? I, I, um, I, so, I yeah, it's like, um, say um, if, you've had, if you have like five children <laughs> And um, they always obey you and they never disobey, they're, they're always with you. But you have that one son who disobeys you and ends up going astray. Um, and then eventually he realizes his mistake. You know, and you let him do what he wants to do. But, and, uh, and you have hope that he will eventually come back to you. So when he comes back to you on that day, that will be like the happiest day of your life. Okay. And you will maybe have a party, you know, in celebration. And even though those four, four children you have, they, were, they always obeyed you, but you never threw a party for them. Whereas this one son who disobeyed you always, but eventually on that one day he comes back to you, you throw a party, a celebration. So Jesus gives this kind of story to uh, illustrate God's uh, love. I mentioned that to you earlier, mercy. the story where, oh, he, okay, okay, yeah. where the son, he goes away after um, you know, uh, wanted to see the world and he comes back and his father rejoices and he simply forgives him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's all he does. He, there was no need for any sacrifice. That's what he's trying to explain to you by the analogy he's giving of the son. Uh, so there's no need for any sacrifice in order to uh, earn your way to paradise? No, a sa sacrifice is just symbolic. But so that's, it's like a way of uh, uh, showing. I don't feel worthy now stepping my foot into heaven. Yeah, I mean, it did. Because I yeah. see it. I see it every day. I see other people. Mm -hmm. I see everyone. I haven't met a person keeping up with the truth and not sinning. Yeah, but you should. That's do. what amazes yeah. me the most. But all Jesus. we're weak and limited, we need to do our, all we can do is our best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's all. true. That's why I'm so amazed about this figure that claim to be sinless. You see, again, you say that, but he doesn't say that. He doesn't. Jesus doesn't say anywhere that he's sinless, does he? I mean, um, yeah, most I, Muslims, I, we believe he's sinless. I'm, I'm, I'm claiming things yeah. that I haven't read yet. Yeah, well, you want to yeah, I, yeah I mean, Muslims, we believe Jesus is sinless. And the prophets. Oh, so yeah, the prophets, yeah. Prophet, so yeah. that's what so I mean. we're not but going to try to prove to you, you that Jesus is a sinner. Like and he mentioned David, yeah. but clearly in the Old Testament, David, David has been seen, seen against. There's actually different views of who David was. So in no, some... No, yeah. Do you at least agree if you, with if you this, just listen uh, to his explanation with, with this uh, action of David? So you know in the book of Kings, it says David was someone who obeyed God who? and kept all his commandments. Who's the book of King? Kings? Um, Kings. Oh, Kings. Yeah. Yeah. So you know there's one and two Kings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I believe it's in... David, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah. in one Kings it says that David obeyed God and kept all his commandments. No, oh yeah, David for sure was one of his favorites. Yeah, because you know when Solomon, after Solomon died, David's son, yeah. um, the kingdom was split up or divided into two nations. Wait, it was first David and then Solomon, right? Yeah. yeah. And, and after it. Solomon, you had like the northern kingdom mm -hmm. and the southern kingdom. Mm -hmm. And each one kept a record mm -hmm. of their own history or their mm -hmm. own chronicles. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so in one of them, David is shown as disobeying God or but, in a negative light by yeah, another one. Can you answer me if he indeed uh, sent one of his soldiers to be killed purposefully so he can grab his wife. Did that happen according no, to you guys? No, not according to us. No, but it is what he yeah. said earlier. From oh, the, so you uh, don't believe that story? Yeah. yeah. But what is, what the rest of the story that you already told me, you, you took it from the Old Testament. But this specific one, which is still from the Old Testament, you 
you don't believe it. Yeah. But what so, he's trying to show, what he's trying to going show. back, you said that we don't pick and choose, but this is clearly it, it's what not you did. It's yeah. not. Listen to listen yeah. why it's not. First of all, did you understand his first point when he says in one Kings that David obeyed all of God's commandments? So Apart if, from this, but all means every commandment he obeyed. But clearly, so this there's is like a contradiction two, here. Guys. Precisely, that's the issue for you to look at. <laughs> no, I, that's the, for you to look at. I cannot believe that they get to see this because there's but clearly he, a, a, a statement that oh, says so that. I, I was just wrong. trying to give you the reference so you can look it up in your own time. What is the reference? Um, I, I believe it's in One King, um, but so, um, also in the Book of Acts. You know, Acts in the New Testament says that David was the man. Sounds, uh, <laughs> I'm still oh, okay. But what sounds. he tried to show to you, yeah. and you, without realizing, so that's a contradiction. Because what he was trying to show to you, there are two portrayals of David there. Yeah, and in this portrayal yeah. over here, we have someone who always obeys God's commandments, always. So if he's obeying God's commandments always, then you, there's another portion which shows him sinning. That is a contradiction within the Old Testament. So who's right and who's wrong? Right? Precisely. This is what we're trying to show. So in the Quran, it, it tells us like who David was. So in the Quran, David is described as a man of peace. Well, that's another thing. Uh, but when did the Old Testament was written? Like, um, so uh, four thousand years ago. Not four thousand like years. Three years, three thousand years ago. Maybe, yeah. Not uh, less than I'm that because not. then you go to the old test, you go to the new test. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure, so, but like with so the... the time gap between Quran and the Old Testament is huge for someone from the Quran mm. to know what really happened in that period. So yeah, I'm gonna yeah. go with the closest source. So Quran isn't claiming to be a history book or a historical source, but it's claiming to be a revelation from God. Oh, okay. So God, God gives his testimony. In that instance, I mean, <laughs> yeah. uh, so it, it's to do with whether you. Whatever it wants and what, still what depends on, like, uh, whether you believe the Quran is the word of God. I haven't read it yet. I'm so, not saying that I won't. Yeah, but yeah. But I'm, I'm going in order, you know. Anyway. Yeah, I mean, but, but um, with, the, with the Bible, if you look but at I the. I said to your friend, I'm going to say yeah. it as well. I only be believe in Jesus Christ because he claimed to. No, not. He didn't claim, he rose. The death. That's the so, only reason. If, if he didn't yeah, do that, yeah. I wouldn't be standing here claiming that I'm his follower. So if you look at the earliest gospel, the gospel of Mark, there's no actual resurrection story in Mark's gospel. What about it? the other three gospels? So the other three gospels, um, they have a resurrection story, mm -hmm. but they're, they're contradictory to one another. Like uh, in, in what? Uh, uh, yes, yeah, so um, in Matthew's gospel, um, the women, they speak to the disciples, mm -hmm. whereas in Mark, they don't speak to the disciples, but they say nothing to anyone because they're afraid. But those are slight mistakes, which they don't really change the story that they're trying to show us. I mean, all three of them are saying that Jesus indeed rose from the dead. Well, in Matthew's Gospel, it says that when they saw Jesus, um, they doubted whether this was really Jesus. I mean, that's like, what they do. <laughs> Mohammed, when this Mohammed stated that he saw Gabriel, he, he thought that it was what exactly? He thought that it was an evil spirit or something. Um, well, it, it, um, the, the the Quran condemns Satan, mm -hmm. so that the Quran oh, when when uh, Quran Mohammed tells, saw yeah. Gabriel for the first time, he thought that it's. Uh, some evil yeah, spirits or something. Like I'm that. not too familiar with that particular narration. It, um, you, um, from Ibn, uh, it's from Ibn Ishaq, mm -hmm. um, the biography of the Prophet mm -hmm. about uh, when the angel Gabriel and he appeared. He went to his wife, which Khadija, she comforted yeah. him and told him that he this is Imam Gabriel. Yeah, mm -hmm. he him Gabriel. But the thing what you have to understand that. No, but this story did happen, right? Yes, it's happened. So Muhammad thought that. He saw something, uh, something, not God, but a bad spirit or something. But and he ran away from it, and he went with his wife. No, he was there until he finished with him. Then he went. Then he went, and he went full scared. in fear, right? 
because the first thing, the first experience of him, yeah. by seeing something he never saw, yeah, yeah, his yeah. logic will be scared. Yeah, like, that's the example, same thing with Jesus and his disciples, like, right? When he, when they saw saw him after the like, resurrection, they like, couldn't believe. No, that. like Mary, Mary, for example, when she saw the angel as well, she she, she gets scared. Okay, that's mean it's yeah, normal yeah, yeah. because the first experience you see something. No, no, because you never see. I I brought up that example yeah, because uh -huh. he brought that the example of Jesus being seen by his disciplines and they were scared of him. It, it doesn't say that they were scared, but it says um, that um, like in one translation in the uh, Bible in Living English by Stephen by, by Inton, mm -hmm. um, he says. Um, there, some were not sure if this was really Jesus mm -hmm. because um, when Jesus is preparing a breakfast for them at the shore mm -hmm. the disciples they gather but then later on they ask none of them dare to ask him are you the Lord mm -hmm. because they were sure this was Jesus they were sure. yeah probably I but mean then, I would be yeah it, I but, would but be. then why is someone asking this question in the first place Which like not, uh, did anyone ask is this Jesus mm -hmm. and they said no because we thought it was Jesus but yeah. how do they know it was really I mean, you don't know what you're gonna ask if you see someone <laughs> coming from the dead you don't the, know how you're gonna react to that because Mary it's such a rare occasion it has only happened once because <laughs> Ma Mary um, Ma Magdalene yeah. um, she doesn't recognize Jesus she says um, is this a gardener she turns and looks at him mm -hmm. and assumes that she's he's a gardener mm -hmm. Uh, why would she think that? Is she, she's, she's a disciple of Jesus, so she would know what Jesus... Um... I, 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 I'm not in her mind, I wouldn't know why she, she didn't recognize him. But, but if that was Jesus, she would... She would. I mean, the last picture of, of her seeing Jesus was him bleeding, I assume, and being mm. in a really bad shape. And to see a man with a glorified body after that, fully untouched, I mean, that would be something. But you wouldn't think he's a gardener, because that, that's the difference between yeah, like but a, you wouldn't, someone who's... You wouldn't uh, even think that it's your own son that was killed like three days ago and now he's back from the dead. But even she doesn't recognize him from his voice as well, because mm -hmm. she turns and looks at him. I'm not familiar, and, guys. Yeah, you, yeah, you keep uh, bringing okay. your testament, <laughs> but I'm, I'm not there yet, yeah? Yeah, because um, even she says, um, if, if you have taken him away, mm -hmm. tell me where have you laid him? Mm -hmm. But if you read Matthew's Gospel, Jesus tells her, like he appears to Mary and tells her that go and tell Peter and the disciples that I will see them in Galilee. Mm -hmm. So why would Mary now ask the gardener who she thinks mm -hmm. is the gardener? Um, you know, where have you taken him and where have you laid him? Mm -hmm. If Jesus already met her met before her. <laughs> yeah, exactly. and told her to go and tell Peter. Does it make any sense So these all? are like the major like contradictions in the resurrection story. Um, I, I'll show you very quickly because yeah. um, I don't want you to think I'm just making this stuff no, up. No, no, guys. Uh, we have, I think we're having an honest conversation yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I don't and at the end of the day, it's about I the no, truth. No hard feelings taken no, no. or nothing. No, no, no likewise. Yeah. I wouldn't stop if I no, didn't want to no, speak No, we had to guys. enjoy our conversation, yes. At the end of the day, unfortunately, yes. one of us is going to end up in hell and one of us is going to end up in well, heaven. We pray that Allah guides yeah, you let's to the true path. All of let's us, all pray yeah, that hopeful. God guides us onto the true path, yes. to end up in but heaven. That's why we're having a discussion to reason. That no, it, 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 and, and it really breaks my heart that, I mean, we are two billion, you are two billion. Unfortunately, one part of, the, one team from those people it's gonna end well, up in a bad you, place. It's, it's in a wrong way. That's why Muhammad Salaam he teach us to say to make this God. Call him the creator if you want to call him a Yeah, yeah, he he ask, has a lot of names. No one can ask, deny that. Ask, ask him show me the truth, his truth, mm -hmm. and help me to follow it. Mm -hmm. And show me the false is false mm -hmm. and help me to stay away from That's it. True. That's but true. can I ask you something, brother? Yes. Are you going to heaven? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows. But you, I will, you, you I leave will, it up to Allah. I will, go, I will go with His mercy. I'm going to tell you honestly what I believe about my case. Yes. I, I'm sure that I'm going to end up. Do you have a, do you have visa? 
I'm, I'm sure that I got that. I don't have any doubt in my Look, life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran, he said, for these people who claim me like you, I just didn't finish, please. Mm -hmm. For people who claim me to you, I'm going to paradise, he said it easily. Mm -hmm. He said, bring your evidences if you are truthful. Mm -hmm. That means if you I are, understand. if you are, you But are, what gives me that reassurance? I'm saying to you, I'm going to America, I show you a visa, no, I will believe that I'm going to America. Thing. What gives if, me? If I'm telling you I'm going to, uh, and they don't have yeah. nothing. But yeah. let me explain why I think that. Because what gives me that reassurance is that someone died for me. For what I'm gonna do wrong in life, brother. There is no evidence that he died for you. That's the problem. That's the if, if we evidence. wanna talk about the evidence, yeah. then I can just say that Muhammad was alone when Gabriel showed up to him. Okay. There are no evidence. No problem. That. No problem. But that's the, the thing. If you start, but Moses was wait, alone. Wait. Moses was alone I, at the bounty, but you still believe in his testimony. I'm not, uh, but I'm not here proclaiming David, that David Moses is my God and I follow Moses. You still believe him as a prophet. I believe in the part of. Uh, the story that says that Moses uh, lived and he was following God, uh, and he was God's a, word. And you believe him to I be a prophet? Never, I will never say that Moses was God or he okay, but so, sacrificed but least, for me. But the point being, still, the, uh, not, the example of Moses will be like the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Nobody witnessed the Ten Commandments being revealed. No, no, but okay. Yeah. Yet you still accept it. It's a part of your Christian belief as well to accept it. I accept, I, so, I accept what exactly? That, Ten Commandments. Yes, that yeah, God, yeah, yes, that. So it was revealed to Moses. Nobody saw it. Yeah, God yeah. spoke to Moses. You believe it? It's in your Bible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So if but God spoke to Prophet Muhammad, that's, so that's the that's the uh, difference. Uh, Jesus was appeared to more than five hundred people. That's something which is not historically true. It's only in Matthew's Gospel. Your Christian scholars say this is like an embellishment within it. But can I interrupt you right there because you were pretty attached to Matthew's Gospel and you were shown. You were showing a big interest in that gospel, and now you're claiming that the same gospel. Oh, yeah. It's not really. It, it, it's it's your, not actually in Matthew anyway. It's, not, well, it's, 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 yeah. it's, it's in Paul. Um, in one Corinthians. So, oh. uh, it's not Matthew. So you but, 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 but this is in Matthew. Um, so you know Mary Magdalene. She goes to the tomb. Um, after the you know crucifixion. What's the first thing you you yeah. you, Just, you, yeah. you you get yeah. learned when uh, oh. people show you this stuff. Don't read out of context. Yeah, of I need course. to read the whole chapters okay, to okay. make my well, point. When you, you go, I just wanted to show you. So yeah, yeah, you can show uh, in your own time. Point, you um, so, um, yeah, so you know Mary Magdalene. She goes to the tomb with the other Marys and other women uh, to, um, you know, expect the the, the tomb. And there, um, Angel says to them, um, not to be afraid. Mm -hmm. um, you're seeking Jesus. He was crucified. He's not here for his risen. Uh, come and see the place where you... So yeah. can we agree that you got crucified then? Yeah, this is what Matthew says, yeah. yeah. Why would you take something that you don't believe in? Why would you use that yeah. against my faith if you don't believe in it in the first place? Yeah, so uh, let, let me show no, you no. why. Doesn't this make sense? <laughs> He'll explain yeah. to you now. Listen to the explanation. Uh, uh. The reason, reason is because um, here um, when they... Uh, it says they departed quickly from the tomb with fear and great joy and ran to tell the mm -hmm. disciples but before they run and tell the disciples uh, Jesus behold a pit, meets them on the way and says greetings and they came up and took hold of his feet and worshipped him mm -hmm. then Jesus says to them do not be afraid go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee and there you will see me uh, and so on but then, if, you know, so if, what, what, yeah. what you're trying, what kind of point you're trying to make? So here I'm saying that Jesus met Mary mm -hmm. and already told Mary mm -hmm. where he's going to be. He's going mm -hmm. to be in Galilee. So you believe this story? Um, not but fully, Mary not not hundred percent. Because, because if yeah. you believe that, then you have to believe that they worshipped him and they they yeah. went as he said them to go. And tell the brothers. Uh, I'll tell you what worship means. Um, okay. Let me just finish this He'll point. Explain. Let's listen to his explanation uh, of um, worship. Yeah. You understand where, what So this Jesus means. appears to Mary, and then Mary stood by and she wept and saw the two angels and weeping um, outside the tomb. And she wept, she stood to look into the tomb. tomb and, and she saw two angels and wept. And uh, then said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? And she said to them, the angels, um, they have my taken Lord. my Lord and I do not know where they have laid him. Having said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing, but she didn't know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you seeking? Mm -hmm. She supposing him to be the gardener. She said to him, 
Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where have you laid him, and I will take him away. And then Jesus says to her, Mary, and she turned and said to him in Aramaic, mm -hmm. Rabani, which means Rabani teacher. Means teacher yeah. And then Jesus says, Do not cling to me, for I have not yet ascended to my Father, mm -hmm. uh, to my God and your God. Mm -hmm. And announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and that he has said these things to me. So on. So my, my, my point was, um, when Mary says to Jesus, mm -hmm. um, Sir, if you have carried him away, mm -hmm. tell me where have you laid him? Why would she ask him this question if Jesus told her to go and tell Peter and the disciples that I will meet well, them? It in? says a lot of things in those chapters. Yeah, yeah. And again, I tell you, if you believe, if you get attached and believe one of these claims, then you have to show faith to the rest of them. You cannot yeah. just pick and choose, you know, guys. Have to believe in it, like you for example. No, but he's using it against yes. me, right? He's, he's using, using it to make a point. Yeah. yeah. But it's saying a lot of to, things in those content, to, in those. To explain to you. What he's showing to you is a discrepancy, my friend. What so does this mean? Discrepancy means contradictions within the accounts. Okay. So is, is this correct? Yeah. So if these are contradictions within the accounts. I'm just being diplomatic. Yeah. But, Why yeah. Is I want to be. You speak from my heart. See what it is, my friend. Yeah. You're becoming emotional, realizing that he's showing. Oh, these not dis emotional at all. No, no, not in the negative mm -hmm. sense of the word. <laughs> I mean, I mean, just in the sense of having that. But so, what he's trying to show to you uh -huh. is that between these accounts, there are contradictions. Now, I use the word discrepancies, mm -hmm. which is like less strong <laughs> as contradictions, but it simply means. But what do you mean by emotional? Like. I, I, I follow this because no, no, you, you obviously you you believe in God. Yeah, yeah, but uh, I follow and you love this Jesus. because it makes me feel better. Yeah, I I, I wouldn't. So I you're would, I would you're disagree you passionate really or you strongly with us you you emotionally believe in? We yeah. both know that following God is a hard thing to do. It's it, not easy it, at all. It, it can be. Yeah, it's not easy at all. It, it doesn't have to be. But being yeah. trying to be good and perfect at all times. That's a hard thing. It's not, I'm not about following. being perfect as I'm not well. It's about trying. It's about trying. It's not about being. Yeah, but I'm not following God because it makes me feel better. I'm following Jesus because he's the truth. You believe in the truth. Yeah. yeah. We also believe that Jesus is the truth as well. But we say the truth about Jesus is that he was God's prophet and servant. I believe that he was God. a prophet, yeah. prophet, but he was much more than a prophet. Mm, so we said that's not believing in the truth about Jesus. I know, I know. And why do because we say Jesus that? So when we says, look at words, for example, like Son of God, mm -hmm. Prophet, Messiah, these are what you refer to as interchangeable terms. Mm -hmm. You can replace one word with the other. They simply mean those who represent God mm -hmm. within that paradigm, with the understanding of those words. That's what so, I said in the beginning, so when you say, the image of God. Yeah, so when we spoke about image, the Greek word is, is it icon, isn't it? Icon. Which means icona, yeah. Icon. Icon. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Greek as well. Icona, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. which means like an outward exterior. Which, it's, it's a got, huge it's, privilege for me because when image, I end up in yeah. the New Testament, I'm going to fully understand the message. Yeah. But what, I won't miss anything from the translation. So our friend is making the reference there, to, he's the image. Yeah. of the invisible God. What do you say to that? You, you made mention of that earlier as well. What would you say to that? Time, guys. So yeah. It's, yeah. It's, <laughs> we can go back and forth for yeah, Maybe just know, explain to you. That's, that's, we've been talking oh, for 40 minutes. Yeah, so. yeah. I don't mind. Yeah. Uh, you can push and uh, try to prove your yeah, points. I yeah. don't mind speaking uh, I mean, with you can, all day, guys. We can continue another time. Yeah, sure. Are you, yeah. Are you guys doing this uh, frequently? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're here every day. Uh, I think we'll be here Saturday for sure. Inshallah, that will be 2.30 to 8.30. If you want to come along and have a discussion, we'll yeah, be Yeah, sure. If I have time and I I, I live near, so I, I pass through this oh, uh, station every day. Every day oh, Fantastic. Okay. Just give us another one minute. Just explain <laughs> us very briefly. Image is just basically um, like God's given us the faculty mm -hmm. to reason, to think, mm -hmm. and He's given us a Something brain, a logic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. That's why I believe it. It was makes sense different. But it doesn't mean yeah. a literal image that he's a reflection he's the Im image in the sense that he is god yeah. and in that image just one who does god's outward works uh -huh. he is known in that in okay. that respect it's not that he's the incarnation of god if you see mm -hmm. what i mean because mm -hmm. that's what the word icon which we've discussed which really shall i give you my email yeah, just yeah, in yeah, case you have? Of course you can, oh, yeah, of course, just have yeah. a hug forget about it <laughs> really enjoyed speaking thank to you it's been fantastic well, you too. Yeah. thank you um if, thank you, if you, you want i'll give you my email address just or one one favor to blur my face promise oh, okay, we can yeah. do that and what we'll do so that you can check as we keep our word 
This is I think I believe in your word. Yeah, I know that you don't want, don't want to lie to me. Oh, thank I you, I appreciate that. that. That's a good thing about Sam, believing. Sam Dawa, do you remember this? Have you got a phone? Go onto YouTube, you can subscribe to the channel now. <laughs> yes, yes, and then you will okay, come Okay, you're up. asking too much for the first time. But Let's go be, slowly, you, yeah. And also you'll be world famous. <laughs> Sam. Sam, S-A-M. Yeah. And the new word, Dawa, D-A-W. D-A-W-A-H. A H yes. Okay. Well, that's pretty sure I don't have service. Man. Oh, you don't have service, but yeah. save that. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty solid. Subscribe to the channel, uh, to his channel, and um, watch our discussion. Cool, Very yeah. friendly, and we can why speak not? again. Why not? Okay. Again, again, build my strength, uh, my Stop. religious strength. Yeah, and, uh, and come back if you want to discuss further. Yeah, sorry, I, I don't really speak English that no, you're well. Doing good. No, you're trying your best. We respect <laughs> you, yeah. and we respect you for if that. If we if we could speak in my language, it would yeah. be. A, Different. Where do you go to? Which church you go to? I don't. I'm a new oh, okay. believer, you know. I, oh, okay. I'm, I'm like a year or so in this type of thing. Oh, okay, cool. Can I, so I'm the, gonna grow initially you said you want to read through the other books. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm and gonna so take my time. I'll try it one last time. You sure you don't want to take a copy? Not yet. Not yet. When I'm you not come back. No. Yeah, okay. yeah. Not yet. We're here. You can take whenever you want. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank so you. Appreciate Delighted it. speaking Thank to you. Uh, nice day. Make a concluding statement. Is that? You'll make a picture. Oh, no, I'm okay. I don't know what to say. Sorry. Okay.